And as I mentioned before, I don't want to break them. Hey everyone, welcome. One thing that I keep mentioning in almost every video is the storage capacity of my servers. Um, at the moment, there are two, three terabyte red drives in there and two, two terabyte green drives. And the green drives are from 2012. They were in a old Synology NAS I had back then. And yeah, time to replace those drives. And yeah, maybe expand the array while we're at it. So last week, a member on our Discord channel, Sydney, um, decided to build himself a nice Unraid setup. And if you haven't joined Discord already, you can find the link in the video description. Um, you're more than welcome and have a little chat with all of us. And yeah, it, it, we can build a helpful community that way. But anyway, he uh, he shucked some hard drives. So that basically means he um, got himself a couple of external hard drives from Western Digital in this case. And he took the enclosure apart and the hard drive that's in there, he, well, that basically turns into an internal hard drive, so for internal storage. And yeah, that got me thinking to do maybe the same. Because the hard drives I was looking at were the Western Digital red drives, uh, 8 terabyte, and they have 256 megabyte cache. And if you buy them here in the Netherlands, they will set you back for about 250, 260 euros each retail. So I found that a bit expensive. So I got myself not one, but two of these Western Digital MyBook drives. Uh, these are eight terabyte hard drives, external hard drives, and in these enclosures are Western Digital red drives, white labeled. So they only have a white label on them. And as far as I know, they should be the same as the normal Western Digital red drives. So, um, but only at a fraction of the cost, because I paid uh, 157 euros for each. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to unpack these hard drives and I'm going to set them up uh, downstairs uh, next to the Unraid server. And then I'm going to log into Unraid and we're going to run a pre-clear on each of these and see if these drives are actually 100% working. And after that, we're going to take them apart. We're going to shock them so we get the hard drives that are inside of this out of there. And um, yeah, basically they're ready for installation in our Unraid server. Uh, but that will be a different video because I will have to move the parity drive to one of these and then this drive will be a member drive and the green drives have to go out. So I have to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, but that will be for a different video. But first we're gonna start with the hard drives. Yeah. In the past I have done some, but they were two and a half inch uh, Seagate drives. A bit of the same story as for these drives. Now. Inside we find these nice hard drives. So this is one and yeah, it's just a normal USB 3.0, I believe. Three uh, limited warranty. Well, I guess that's for the enclosure and I don't know what the warranty of the hard drive that's inside of this is, but we'll find that out as well because I will write down the serial numbers. Power brick with a converter. Maybe it's standard. Normally we have EU plugs. Yeah, it comes off like that. And this one slides on. Okay, so it's a EU plug and we have the USB cable. This might come in handy for some older drives I have. But yeah, I no, basically I have no use for them because I have a couple of servers for that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do the same with the second hard drive. And then, yeah, we're gonna connect them downstairs and we do the rest from my computer. So, um, see you in a bit. So, as you can see, I've set up the hard drives in the pantry. And if you have a look at the background at my Unraid server uh, on the tab main, you can see I have a MyBook and another MyBook. So both drives are recognized as eight terabyte drives, so that's correct. Now next to these hard drives, you can see this little icon, start pre-clear. And that's a plugin I've installed. Um, if you want the plugin, um, just go to apps and in the search bar type pre-clear. And then you can see a pre-clear disk. That's this one and you can just download that plugin. So we go back to main and why do we want to pre-clear this disk is because uh, we want to make sure that these disks are 100% fine. I will only do it once and after that I'm going to use them as my data drives for this Unraid build. Now the drives as I mentioned before um, 
that are currently installed are these uh, Western Digital Red drives, the three terabyte ones and the green drives as well below that. So two terabyte and another two terabyte. So I will get these two green drives out of the server. Then the two eight terabyte drives go in the server. Uh, one of the eight terabyte drives will be assigned as a parity drive. Then we have another eight terabyte as a data drive. Then both the three terabyte drives will be data drives as well. So I doubled my uh, hard drive storage capacity. That's the idea. So we scroll down, we have the hard drives here and I'm not going to mount them. I'm only going to pre-clear them. So I click this little icon and we are prompted with this screen. Western Digital uh, 80 EZ. So what I'm going to do, because I don't want to pay attention to this pre-clear process, is I'm going to up email and it will just send me an email once pre-clear is done and then I can record the second part of this video. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm only going to do one cycle. So I'm going to hit start for this one. Success. So that one is getting ready to start and we're going to do the same with the second hard drive. Uh, also email notification on pre-clear end. Uh, only going to do one cycle and we're going to hit start for this one as well. So the first one is already uh, started, 177 megabytes a second. This will take a long time, so I will just keep it running overnight. And tomorrow we will check the status and see if these drives are 100% in good condition. So 20 hours have gone by now and let's have a look how far it is. And maybe it's done. I don't think so, but we'll see. Okay, um, so yesterday it was on reading, now it says, it says zeroing, 25% and well, the second one um, got in first place, 25%. So yeah, I don't think that it will finish today. So I will check back with you tomorrow and hopefully they're done by then. So we're actually at day three now, uh, Wednesday night. I started this pre-clear process, uh, now we're at Friday night. So uh, a full two days uh, have gone by. Uh, only disk two is finished and disk one is eh, almost finished 99%. Yeah, it takes a really long time and this is only one pass. So I could imagine how long it takes if you do actually three or four of these pre-clear processes um, to a disk. Uh, they also tend to get a bit hot in the enclosures, uh, 52 degrees. I even saw them go up to 53 degrees. Now the second disk is finished. So we have a look at that. Yeah, here you can see the power on hours, 46 hours. Uh, temperature, yeah, the 53 degrees Celsius I was talking about. So um, yeah, this disc is actually fine. Um, so disc one, well, I think it will be fine as well. But yeah, we don't know before the test is complete. Now, I have done a bit of research as for the warranty status of these discs. And apparently Western Digital um, can be a bit... Um, yeah, harsh when it comes to the warranty if you shook these hard drives. So if you take these hard drives out of their enclosure, chances are uh, Western Digital is not um, helpful to you for replacing a drive under warranty because you've opened the enclosure and therefore void the warranty. So uh, that could be a thing. So don't take my word for it to get any warranty out of these discs. Now, personally, I don't really care. Um, each disc saved me about 90 to 95 euros, so about 190 euros in total. Uh, worst case scenario is one of these discs, no, and it's finished. Uh, worst case scenario is that one of these discs could fail in, well, the next one or two years. Uh, the actual warranty period of a Western Digital Red Drive, which has three years, I believe. If so, then with those 190 euros, I could still buy a new replacement drive and still have a couple of euros left. So yeah, I'm not really worried about that. So with the first disc finished as well, let's have a look at that. Um, yeah, also success, um, it finished. Power on hours, 49 hours. So it took a bit longer than the second drive. Temperature not as high, but only by one degree. So now we can start the process of actually shucking these hard drives and get those sweet terabytes out of there. And, and yeah, prepare them for installation in our Unread server. Now, after the shocking process, I will try one of these drives in the IC Doc uh, Black Vortex Bay and see if uh, if it actually powers up and if it's recognized by the BIOS uh, slash UAV firmware. So um, yeah, I will get those drives and yeah, let's start shocking. So I have my hard drives right here and they're still a bit warm. 
but um, we're gonna take them apart. Now, this shouldn't be all that hard. Um, this is where the hard drive is, and here are a couple of clips, and on the top as well. And here it has some retention, some clips. So we have to push it out like that, and hopefully in the process we won't damage it, so we can actually assemble it again. Well, the spudges are easier than the guitar picks. So I hope I have enough spudges. Oh, there's a clip right there. No hard drives were harmed during the recording of this video. That's not true. Definitely not. I don't know how many clips there are in these hard drives. I don't. And as I mentioned before, I don't want to break them. That's basically the way they do it. Obviously, not the cleanest way, but um, this is the drive. And the hard drive is just in anti-vibration rubber, so yeah, it can take a little bit of movement, but don't move your hard drives when you have them powered on. Would be something if I damage the drive now. Yeah. Those are torques right there. So let me get my torque screwdriver. T9 fits perfectly. So we get those screws out as well. And the last one, yes. Now there is one more Phillips screw there. We have to undo to get the USB to SATA controller off. And that's just a normal Phillips screw. We have it. Say that to USB controller. And here we have our Western Digital Drive in full glory. Nice. Now the serial number on this hard drive is actually the same as the serial number on the enclosure. So what we have to do now is just uh, do the same with the second hard drive, but I will do that off cam. And um, once I'm done with that, I will test one of these hard drives in my Unraid server in the Black Vortex from IC Doc and see if my computer actually recognizes these drives and if they want to spin up on a internal SATA power connector. So here we are in my pantry with my service and this one is dusty already. When did I install this? I have to clean that. Yes. Let's see. Um, get the one on top out. It's a three terabyte, and this one is the three P seven. That's the parity drive. Yeah, let's just slide one of these bad boys in and see what it does. But I will uh, first transfer over this handle. Otherwise, I will have no way of pulling out that drive again. Yes, got the handle. Let's install this now. I powered down the server because I don't know if I have hot plug enabled on this motherboard. So yeah, we'll just have to do it like this now. It's, uh, it's only a test. Yes, like that. And get that one on as well. And hopefully it's recognized. So let's power it on. And we go straight to the BIOS. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's the one on top. Eight terabyte. Nice. 
So, now we know that these drives work perfectly fine in this server. We can, um, well first, going to reinstall the three terabyte one. Um, of course, I could just leave this eight terabyte in there and um, yeah, just rebuild the parent. But I'll do that in another video, otherwise this one will get way too messy. So yeah, good to know that these drives are working in my Unraid server. Um, that will also be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to install these drives. First, one 8 terabyte drive for replacing the parity drive. After the parity rebuilding is done, we'll replace the green drives with the other 8 terabyte drive. And I have to see how I'm going to do that. But that will be covered in the next video. If you have any comment suggestions, maybe some advice, you can leave them down in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!